hi best friends welcome back to my channel so Lumiere sent me some hair and I am going to show you guys how I did my little wave look um I call them Hollywood waves but they're not really Hollywood waves but I'll get into that deeper into the video so this is what the packaging looks like Lumiere sent me a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig it's 22 inches 150 density it comes with flexi rods a pamphlet of how to get money off of on your next purchase a stocking cap and I don't know if these are bracelets or scrunchies whatever I don't know um, the wig did not come pre-plucked the wig did not come bleached so I had to do all of that. You guys see me bleach and pre and pluck a wig before I'll leak all of those videos down in the description box. But this is what the wig looks like versus uh, after I plucked it. So I'm just going to let you know you guys have to put in some work when dealing with this hair. Alright. So um, when you want to do like this little wavy look, you definitely going to have to have a thick wig. This wig is 150 density. It's really, it's a nice density on its own. But um, because I want to do this look, I am going to add hair in. So I had some scrap hair uh, left over. And I did double the tracks. So I am going to add that into the wig. Okay, so I'm going to sew um, tracks, double tracks into the wig. And I'm going to skip uh, Three tracks that's already sewn in a wig and then I'm add another track then skip three tracks then add another track so you guys are gonna see me do that here but yeah so I'm gonna just make the wig a lot fuller um, if you want to see how I sew tracks or you know hair on two caps I'll leave my how to make a wig video it's very detailed and you can see exactly what I'm doing up close and personal and yeah let's get into this video I also want to mention that the, the bundle or the scrap hair that I'm using is 24 inches so it did add 2 inches of length onto the hair which is really really great um, so I just want to notate that as well so basically I'm going to just fast forward me applying the tracks and we could get right into the styling of the wig. So this is what the wig looks like after I applied about five rows of extra tracks in there. Remember my tracks are doubled. Um, if you do have a thinner wig and some scrap hair or an extra bundle, this is a good way to make your wig a little longer and a fuller. Alright you guys, so the first step is to mold your hairline. Figure out if you want a side part or if you want a middle part. I myself like my side parts to be on my right side um, so I, I let that's I like to mold it on the right side so I am just using my hot comb and just laying the front of the hairline down uh, and molding that because when I go in with the curls I don't want to have to disturb the curls to get the hairline to be flat so that's something that you guys should definitely do and like I said this wig did not come plug pre-plugged at all so um, the, you are going to have to put in some work when it comes to this wig and I plucked that hairline so good y'all like mm. So after I got my hairline to sit how I wanted it to sit, I did wrap it down with the paper strips. And then, you know, I like to use my uh, lace grip on top of my lace on, on my mannequins and on myself. Um, it works really good to lay it down, especially because it has that Velcro right there. 
it's just so super easy you don't have to tie nothing or anything like that so I love using my lace grip and you guys are going to see me using that a lot more in up and coming videos so I did curl this hair the day before and the lace is still intact but it didn't come out how I wanted it because the hair was still frizzy so what I did was comb out the curls and I'm going to go in with my flat irons. I will leave these flat irons down in the description box. They are pretty expensive. But I'm going to just leave them down there just in case if somebody wants them. And I am lightly going to flat iron my hair. I want all the hair to go in the same direction and I want to maintain and ease the frizz. So I'm going to use heat with that. When you just go in with a curling wand and your hair is still kind of frizzy, you're still going to have a lot of frizz. So I wanted to maintain the frizz by flat ironing it first. I did use a heat protectant that I sell on my website. Um, it's called Sauce and it gives it a shine. It's a gloss and it's a heat protectant and I love it and it smells so good. But yeah, so I'm going to lightly go through and flat iron my hair and then we're going to start the curling process. All right, so I am going to section off the area of the frontal. I want to curl that last. I prefer to curl that portion of the hair while it's on my head because I like to shape it around my face, okay? So I'm going to pin that out the way, and then we're going to start on the back. So I'm going to section off about three tracks, okay, and one of my double tracks are in this section. And what I am going to do is I am going to angle it. So like I'm about basically parting, parting as you can see in the angle. And what that is just going to do is just help the, the waves lay on top of each other better. Like it's like lay, brick laying basically. So I'm going to take my wand. Now, I would definitely suggest you get a wand that's one entire uh, uh, roundness that's not tapered like mine's is because you want your wand curls to be the exact same um, density or thickness from the top to bottom where mine's is going to get narrow at the ends because it tapers off. Um, but I just worked with what I have. It came out wonderful. But I would definitely suggest if you want to do the full on Hollywood waves to get this, the right wand for this. I will leave one down in the description box. And I will also leave the one that I'm using in the description box as well. So basically I will hold the curl on the wand for about 10 seconds. I will let it cool down. And then I will go proceed on to the next curl. I also want to notate that you definitely want to make sure you're wrapping the hair right around your wand. You want to twist it, not flap wrap, okay? Flap wrap is going to give you like a Shirley Temple curl, and that's not the look that we're going for. So you definitely want to, to, to twist the hair around the wand, and it's going to give you the curl definition that you want to. So like I said before, um, since I don't have the right wand, the back of my hair is more like a... Um, like a loose curls that drops into waves or like kind of like wand curls basically and then the front of the hair I make sure I spread my curls out which I'm gonna show you guys in a second how to do that um, to get the waves in the front of the hairline All 
Okay, so basically, I'm going to just sit the wig on top of my head. I'm not going to apply it as of yet. I am going to section the large portion of my face where the bang is going to go down into two. And I am going to wrap it towards my face, okay? I'm going to let it sit for about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to take the curl off the wand. I'm also going to comb this piece out, make sure that it's neat, and I'm also going to curl this piece going towards my face as well because I wanted it to drape forward. And throughout the whole time of me curling, I was using my generic version of Sebastian Shaper from Sally's to just set my hair. This is not a heavy duty hairspray. It's a very lightweight hairspray. So it wasn't going to leave my hair sticky. I didn't want to have a whole bunch of products on my hair. So that's the reason why I chose to use that specific hair spray. And so once I have my curls that's in front of my face set, I am going to pin them where the curls dip just so it can keep its shape in waves okay and then um i am going to curl up the other side and get that out of the way and after i do that i'm going to take my rat tooth comb and gently comb the top layer of the hair now i'm not going to go comb all the way through the curl but like lightly like tease the curl a little bit just so they can marry the curls can marry each other so it won't look like there's a demarcation in the curls that's around my face I want it to look like one seamless wave Alright best friends, so this is the ending of this video. I hope I explained it well enough, but if you do have questions, leave them down in the comment section and I will be down there answering questions about how I did this. Um, if you want your curls to last a little bit longer, use a heavy duty or hairspray. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask me and I'll be back with another video. And if you want to see how I got this makeup look, just watch the next video. Hey, bye y'all.